In this video, you'll learn about how testers use the dynamic self-service forms to interactively find, view, analyze, and reserve the test data. A TDE should have already performed the following prerequisites. Created the test data model and enabled it for the tester. Created and shared the connection profile with the tester. Created the environment for the tester. This diagram helps you understand the overall flow, tasks that a tester performs to find and reserve the test data. The first step in this process is to select the form from the self-service catalog interface. In the second step, specify the required environment where the data is available. Then, define the filter criteria that is used to find the relevant data. After specifying the filter criteria, you find the data. In the next step, analyze the retrieved data to ensure that it meets the testing requirements. After reviewing and identifying the data that you want to reserve, select the required data rows. Finally, reserve the selected data by sending the reservation request. So let's see how a tester, Joe, finds and reserves the data. Note that the scope of this video is applicable only to find and reserve the test data. For more information about how a TDE creates a test data model, see the separate video about creating test data models. In this video, Joe, who is a tester, needs on-demand access to the order management application data so that he can find the right test data and reserve it. He wants to have complete control over the filter criteria that he wants to specify to find the data. He also wants to review the data that is retrieved based on his criteria. And finally, he wants to reserve the data if he's satisfied with the result. John, who is a TDE, has already created the orders test data model. He's also made this model available to Joe as a self-service form. Now, Joe can simply access this form and get started with the process of finding and reserving data. The scenario in this video uses the Northwind sample database that's available for Microsoft SQL Server. Refer to the Microsoft website to download the Northwind sample database. Joe has logged into the CATDM portal using his tester credentials. He has access to the project orders and version 1.0. This project and version are associated with the orders test data model, which John has already created and enabled for Joe. To find and reserve the test data, Joe needs to access the orders form. He clicks the self-service catalog option, locates the orders form, and clicks the new request button. He selects the required environment, staging, that includes the data in which he's interested. All these fields act as filters, Joe uses the appropriate fields to find the test data. He specifies values in the required fields. Now he clicks the Find Data button. The portal evaluates the defined filter and searches for the relevant test data in the selected environment. It then displays the retrieved data, allowing Joe to explore the data. After finding the test data, Joe can now proceed with the process of reserving the data, where he identifies and selects the required data so that he can reserve it and use it for testing. To reserve the data, Joe reviews the displayed data rows and selects the ones in which he's interested. He then clicks the Reserve button, enters the reservation name, orders underscore reserve, and clicks OK. When the reservation request is completed, the My Reservations page displays the Orders underscore Reserve data reservation. Joe clicks the Orders underscore Reserve reservation. Now this page displays the relevant information about the reservation. Note that the reservation status is displayed as Success which indicates that the reservation has been performed successfully. Joe can start using the reserved data for testing the application. Joe can also download the reserve model keys as a CSV file. To do so, Joe clicks the down arrow and provides the location to save the file. 
He can then access the file to review the information. After Joe is done with the testing of the application, he can release the reserve test data so that the data becomes available to other testers. For releasing the reserve data, Joe navigates to the Orders underscore Reserve Reservation page and clicks the Release button. That the reservation has been released and is moved to the Purged state. The reservation remains in the Purged state for 30 days, by default, and is removed after that period. In this video, you learned how a tester can use a self-service form to interactively find and reserve the test data.